Glamour of the Kill. You're watching Amplified TV. Okay, we are backstage at Sonosphere with Glamour of the Kill. Hey, man. It is Friday. How has it been so far? I know it's early on. Um, literally, we've only just got here, so we've done a few interviews before you guys. Um, so we're just... Uh, for our show later on. Yeah. yeah. Already had time to have a few beers, of course. Yeah. Start the day, you mean to go on? Uh, so we had a cheeky Red Bull as well. Yeah, yeah, just got to get fired. I don't, I don't know what you mean. We, we'd never drink a Red Bull. Yeah, yeah. Monster, yeah. We monster. drink Monster. Right. <laughs> and their sponsors aren't here. <laughs> so you got it. You're playing Nebworth. Yeah. Um, what does this mean to you guys? Um, it means a lot to us. I mean, we did it in 2009. So it, it definitely means it holds a uh, big place, place in our hearts because in 2009 it was an amazing year. Obviously, it being the first one in the UK, so it was an amazing time to be a part of that. But this year, we're older, we're more mature, so our set is going to be a lot better. The Wall of Death will hopefully be bigger as well. I do like a good Wall of Death. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, our 2009 one, we've got like, I don't know, like there's some crazy YouTube videos of it, but it was absolutely insane. That, that tent holds like 5,000 people or something, and it was from each end of the tent, and it was like two waves of bodies just fucking colliding and smashing everything to pieces. It went right back to the sound desk, and it was so cool. And we're hoping that somehow, we don't know how, but this year we're going to top it. So, uh, roll on. Okay, so other than the complimentary wall of death standard, um, what else uh, crazy kind of things have fans done at the gigs? Um, lots, really. I mean, we, we, we always like lots of crowd participation. We get lots of walls of death, lots of circle pits, but they just jump everywhere, literally. They're just jumping on stage, knocking my mic stand over. I think the craziest thing was the, um, the we had one show where uh, some guy got naked and crowd surfed to the front, and then they like next thing we knew we were kind of halfway through a song like, midway through a set and naked guy on stage and we were just like cool he dicks bigger than mine yeah he's dicks uh, yeah so but it was quite cool because our, uh, our tech kind of ran on and like picked him up and like threw him back out so you know just basically a na naked guy like crowd surfing around the thing and you know we love cock so it's cool um, I'm surprised that the kind of seed didn't just part when you threw him back and it was just splat on the floor <laughs> oh, <laughs> everyone was up for a bit everyone became for a bit of yeah. Been there. Cool. Yeah. Um, so you've, this year you released your first album. Yeah. Something. January. How has that been? been? Six months or so. Uh, it's done really well. I mean, everywhere we go, people are singing the words back to us, and everyone's loving it. And the comments we're getting on it is just unreal. So we're really happy with the response, and we just can't wait for everyone to hear even this newer stuff that we're writing now because we're just the creativity is just keeping them flowing and stuff. So we just um, want to get this new stuff recorded and. Uh, people hear this. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're always too excited to show everyone what's coming next. Yeah. And like, obviously, you know, we've, we're still touring this album to an effect. Um, we've still got, you know, a tour or two to do kind of at the end of this year. But we've already started working on like the next album, and you know, we we just keep want to show fans all the new stuff we're coming up with and keep it fresh and exciting. Okay. Um, so here we are at Sonosphere. Your gigs later on. Got a few more press things. Uh, who else are you going to try and catch? maybe today or the whole weekend if you're staying around? Well, we're going to miss pretty much quite a lot of the bands, so I'm looking forward to Metallica, but we're sticking around for the full weekend, so we want to see as many people as we want. I mean, my music, like, I love like all types of music, so I really want to see All Time Low, um, I really want to see Parkway Drive, obviously Slipknot and Biffy, so I'm just looking forward to the full festival, really. I just want to see as many empty bottles of vodka as I can, so that's about it. That's a good plan, that is a good plan. Okay, um, our standard festival question. Um, you're playing here. If you could make the lineup, so you're, you're headlining, and who else would you have on your thing? Any band, past, present? That's cool. Um, well, you'd have Colour of Fire, wouldn't you? Dude, not cool. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, really. Like, I still haven't seen Maiden live. Um, <laughs> yeah, I still haven't seen Maiden live, uh, and they're like well up high on my uh, things of lists. To do things of lists, things of lists, li list of things to do. So, um, yeah, I, I'd put Maiden on and uh, take the rest from there. Really, um, I don't know really. I mean, if it was just headlining, and if I could bring people back from the dead, I'd have Thin Lizzy on there because I love Thin Lizzy so much. Um, I'd definitely have Metallica on there. Yes, yeah. It's just, it's just for Stanners. Tell the Paul Stanley. I want to be him. 
Um, <laughs> Slipknot and Stone Sour just to push Corey through the uh, through his paces um, and Avenge because they're awesome. Yes, yeah, so a lot of bands. Cool. Literally, be a 65-day festival because I just love so much. Yeah, that's, that's what kind of thing we're looking for. But only girls can get into the get into the festival. Right. Okay. Girl only crowds. Naked, uh, yeah. And there's like a hot scout, so like basically like a girl comes. Sorry. Face to the front. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Face to the front. Stand at the back if you're uh, like you've been hit by a bus. Okay, that's yeah, that's good entry policy, I guess. Yep. Um, so yeah, good luck with the uh, the set later on. Thank you very Thanks much. Try and catch it. And thank you. Enjoy. Cool. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.